Welcome Internet. In today's episode, I'd like to show you how you can save a 3D PDF in ARCHICAD. And the reason why I have to show you is that that's one of a very, very few things in ARCHICAD that is not very intuitive. It's a little bit tricky, to be honest. First of all, you need a 3D model. I obviously have one here and it's the Space Museum, uh, one of the projects you saw on the speed build videos I have on the YouTube channel here. And the first step will be saving this as a view. So we have to go into our view map here in the organizer or navigator and click on save current view. And we can give it a name, for example, 3D perspective. The next step is to save this as a U3D file. You might never heard about this, but it's quite simple. When you're in a 3D perspective in Archica, you can save it under File, Save As. And I would save it on the desktop here. And I give it a name, 3D Perspective. And you find it here, U3D. So after saving the view and saving the U3D file, we have to create a new layout. So we go into our layout book and we click on create new layout. And in this case, it doesn't matter which master layout you use. I'm using A3 empty because there's nothing on it. And I also call this 3D perspective or I call it 3D PDF. And so it's basically empty and onto our new layout we drag and drop the saved view we have here in our view map and we just drag the 3D perspective in the middle of it. It's a little bit too big in this case so we can make it smaller otherwise you can uh, click here on the percentage number and can change the, yeah, the measurements of this Thing, but um, yeah, you have to keep in mind this will be the 3D PDF and inside you will see this little window so basically the whole PDF file will be my 3D window after we will be finished. The next step is to go into our publisher sets and there we find our example sets by default but in case you have different ones here we will create our very own. So you can click on new publisher set and we will call this 3D PDF. And we have to go into the settings. So it should save a file. Yes, that's correct. And if we go into publishing properties, create a real folder structure or single file, it doesn't matter in this case, you can do whatever you like to, have, uh, to do. And um, the thing we have to choose is our file here um, it's okay it's called like this it's the project name and then there comes the name of the publisher set and we have to choose a path so in this case i will also save it on my desktop and the most important thing is the format so if uh, by default you see it's on BIM, bimix hypermodel and we have to choose pdf and that's the only thing we have to do here and then click on OK. Once we created our new publisher set we can go into it by double click on it and we see it's empty but we only can add new folders. The reason for this is that we have to drag and drop yeah, files into this folder here or into this empty space but it's not possible when we are using the navigator so we need the organizer just click on the project chooser and click on show organizer and the organizer pretty much is a navigator with another navigator so now we have three navigators on the right side we can select the publisher set and on the left side we can select our layout book and in this case uh, the 3d pdf publisher set is already selected we double click it so we open it 
and here we choose the 3D PDF layout that we created and we just drag and drop it into the empty space. So after doing this, we can close it. You can keep this open on another monitor, whatever, doesn't matter. So we click on 3D PDF in our publisher set and we go on document options and then we click on PDF options. And this is very important because when you want to export a 3D PDF file, you have to select embed 3D content and there the U3D file becomes in handy. And we select our U3D file, which is, okay, that's a warning, which is on our desktop and we can choose perspective. That's the only option we have here. Resolution, blah, 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 that's okay. And uh, then we click on okay. And after you have selected or embedded the U3D file, you can click on publish. In this case, I choose the, I have chosen the desktop as my publisher folder and Everything's fine if this uh, green hook appears and then I can close it and I can go onto my desktop and there we have our PDF file, which looks like this. And yeah, that's Adobe uh, Acrobat Reader. So we have to click to activate. And then yeah, there's a trust issue. Yes, I want to trust this document click again to activate and now it should work. And yes, the running was real, could be last very long because the file has more than five megabytes. But um, there we go. And we have our 3D PDF made in Archicad. You can compare this to a normal BIM viewer or to having something open in Archicad or wherever, but it's pretty much okay. And um, for clients or for authorities who are not very much into 3D or BIM or anything else, um, it's, it's a real highlight. So that's pretty easy and um, everyone can read PDF files, but it's a little bit unintuitive in Archicad, but now you know how to do it. And I hope you learned something new in Archicad. And as always, leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below in the comment section. I will appreciate this. And as always, have a great day and stay creative.